I think that's good. I think we're in focus. Hopefully we are. I really don't want to refilm this. Um, so cheers to hoping that this is in focus. Hey, hi, hello, it's Josie Bunn, back on my channel. Um, should I just start going by Josie? Should I? I am an adult. Yeah, I think it's time. We're gonna go by Josie. Um, <laughs> it's been a month. It's been a whole month since I've uploaded anything. I did just upload my tubule surgery video Q&A. Um, so if you came here from that, hi, this is what I normally do on my channel, which is thrift hauls and some styling content. Um, sometimes I do DIYs. Sometimes I make food videos. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I've been going through a lot. We're not going to talk about it in this video because then it would be two hours long. Um, and I also really just don't want to. And in fact, the only reason I'm really filming today is because I have these beautiful flowers from Trader Joe's that I have, um, that I bought the other day and I wanted to film something because I always like to film with flowers. Um, it's something that I like to have in the shot. Um, so this video is dedicated to these flowers from Trader Joe's. Thank you, Trader Joe's, for having the best fresh cut flowers, uh, in the world. We are gonna do a little bit of a collective haul today. It's not massive. I promise. I am very proud of myself. I donated six entire trash bags and I'm not even done going through my closet yet. I do have a couple videos in the works. Don't know if I'm going to end up posting them because they're not that like technically great um, because it's just me going through different types of clothing. Like I filmed blazers and I think I filmed dresses. I'm not sure. Um, just going through them, decluttering them because I have, I have way too many of them. Now this first piece Let's talk about it. This first piece I purchased because I had a bathing suit, it got stained, and I needed a new bathing suit. So I did find a replacement bathing suit, um, like the exact same one, but I also saw this one by the same brand, um, and this is new with tags. This was on Poshmark, um, so not quite thrifted, um, but it is a size medium. It was originally $138. It is by Becca Swim, by Rebecca Virtue. Um, so I'm not quite sure when this is from. This is obviously a very 60s, 70s psychedelic print, um, and I just fell in love with it. It felt very Trixie Mattel, and therefore I purchased it just in case I ever see Trixie live. I was supposed to see Trixie live in September in Indianapolis. Um, that show ended up getting canceled. I'm not actually sure why. It's beautiful and it has like the cups in there as well. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. It's like shimmery too. And the reason I purchased this was not just to wear it as a bathing suit. I thought that would be a little bit wasteful um, because it is such a gorgeous bodysuit. I want to wear it during the fall. So I will be styling this as a uh, as an actual bodysuit because I think it would be really cute with jeans just like casually but I also think this would be really gorgeous with a pair of pink trousers that I refitted they were originally a pair of men's hot pink like sort of this this bubble gummy hot pink shade and I just thought that would be so gorgeous this next dress I mean this is a basic let's be real but it's a stunning basic I don't know if I'll end up I hate saying this I don't know if I'll end up keeping it because it, it fits around my waist, but my hips are the problem with this one. I couldn't try this one on. I got this beautiful, it's by the brand Positive Attitude. It's a size 8. Um, it is this gorgeous vintage white, is this pure linen? Let's see. 55% linen, 45% rayon, and the lining is polyester. Size 8, it's petite. Um... It is this gorgeous, I don't really think this is petite, to be honest. It's a very long dress. Um, it's got these brown wooden buttons, and it's just the most beautiful cream linen colored dress. It's so perfect for summer. I know summer is dead and gone. It is October now, but I bought this for next summer, so I'm very excited to wear that. I think it is beautiful. I think I will have this piece if it fits until I die. Um, it fits a little bit tighter on the hips, I'm not going to lie. Um, I have one more dress and it's, you guys, it's, it's a very me dress. This dress I saw, it was only $12. I was like, I have $12. I can, yeah. <laughs> um, this is by Neiman Marcus. Okay. So this is a size, it's a vintage size 12 black tie made by 
made by he Ro, like he dot Ro industries inc it is 100 percent silk 100 percent rayon for neiman marcus this is basically brand new um it doesn't have the original tags on it but when i tell you that this like it's brand new no one's ever worn it i can tell okay i own a lot of vintage sequin thanks to thrifters anonymous and i know that no one else has been in this look at it look at it I know this one fits. I feel like it might be a bit big. Um, I feel like I want to add a slit to the front of it because, let me be honest with you guys, I don't mind tailoring vintage clothes to, like, fit me better. I don't even really mind shortening skirts, especially ones that aren't particularly unique. Like, if I find a cool pinstripe skirt and it's vintage, I don't see a problem in customizing it um, to my own likeness. I know some people are iffy. And I, I get iffy, too, about altering, like, some vintage pieces. I'm like, why would anyone alter that? That is, like, what? Granted, if you bought it, you could do whatever you want with it. You could burn it in a pit of fire. It's really not my business. But, like, I still feel an ick about it. You know what I mean? I do have a lot of these sequin dresses. Um, and this one, like, look at how cool the shoulders are. They they look and feel like armor, right? They're, like, this mesh material with the most gorgeous detail sequin work. And you don't find sequins like this today. You find, like, really cheap sequins that don't sparkle and shine like the vintage sequins do. This dress is really long. And I would hate to waste this bottom fabric in just like making this a top I would definitely wear it every single day if it were a top that's the other thing is like do I just make it into a two-piece I myself would not do that I would seek out the help of a extremely talented professional to do that because I couldn't do that with this um I don't I don't know how one would go about doing that however if I add a slit it would make it more wearable to me so I'm thinking about taking it to a professional and getting it tailored um, because I'm not confident enough to do that without absolutely obliterating this beautiful piece next I have a few blouses this is fun um, I'm gonna start with the most boring <laughs> this is by Chadwick's it's a supposedly it's a two-piece it is a size 14 I know that ain't right it is polyester but it is like this meshy sort of material with a quarter length sleeve so fun but it's like got these ruffles down the front I thought this would be really fun for fall with layering I could even do like even during the summer because it's that light like see-through material I feel like this would do pretty well if I wanted to do like a sweater vest or something with this I think it would do pretty well um but like a lower cut one so you could still see the ruffle I'm a big fan of the ruffle I think this is pretty unique to my collection I don't have a ruffly black top that's see-through is that a good justification for buying it? Probably not. This next blouse is a Liz Baker. And, like, okay. So you guys know I have an obsession with white old lady button-up tops. And I have told myself that I, unless it is exceptional, I'm not allowed to buy those anymore. I just have too many. And I'm not willing to part with any. That's the other thing. I went through them all. I was like, I have got did get rid of one. I got rid of one. Uh, but other than that, I'm not willing to part with any because they are all, to me, very unique, even though they are all at their core white button-ups. But, like, some of them are more frilly. Some of them have gold lining. Some of them have gold sequins. I am, however, allowed to get fun colored old lady tops. So I did pick up this Liz Baker. Ah! Look at the color, first of all. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous color. Um, it is like this fuchsia purple. It's going to be excellent for fall. It has these um, monochromatic pearl buttons so they're like the same shade it's got the monochromatic lace and the lace actually has like a same color like pinky purpley mesh detailing behind it which I thought was really unique so I did pick this one up it's a little bit lower cut than my other old lady blouses as well and I really liked the flow of it I thought it would look great untucked tucked into a bunch of stuff I just just thought it was a unique addition to my collection if you guys were here for the last haul you already know that I truly like to think of myself as a princess and therefore I've been really into princessy silhouettes and sleeves and floral prints and just all of those things lately. I've been really enamored by them. So I did get this Lady Carol of New York. First of all, the name. Second of all, the silhouette. Okay, this is a true vintage peplum. I'm pretty sure it's linen or cotton at least. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It is a peplum top, but it's like a vintage peplum top. And also it's like a double layered peplum with this pearl, like 
it's a plastic button, but it's pearl, you know what I mean? Like, it's just cute. Um, it's got these pleats running around the side, um, and then it's got these, just the most princessy sleeve in the world. It's gorgeous. I thought with a pair of tighter pants or a tighter skirt, this could look really gorgeous and very glamorous, very much like just old Chanel kind of vibes. I really liked the pastelness of it. I think this will be really cute for fall, um, as well as like spring and entering summer when that time comes around again because it is a shorter length sleeve. I have a lot of long sleeve things like this and now I have a sort of more formal shorter one. Um, so that is really nice. I did want to pick that up as well. It just like fit the vibe so immaculately. Okay, as far as on the top half, I only have four more things left to show you, and one of them isn't thrifted, um, but I do want to show you it because it fits the theme. Um, so this is Silver Unicorn is the tag. It's 100% cotton. It's a size small, and then it has five slash seven on the tag, so I'm not sure if this is for a child, but it fit me just fine. So I picked this up because it reminded me of Princess Diana, and that's really why I picked it up. Um, it's this really fun, like very not serious, um, very fun take on fall fashion, I think. Almost like neon cyan blue and white striped, very sporty. Um, it's got a nice um, white piping around the neckline and the sleeves, sweater vest, a nice ruching in at the waist, kind of almost bubble looking to the silhouette, which like is probably really not flattering, but is kind of cute honestly like tucked into a pair of trousers with one of my white old lady button ups this is this would kill this is this kills um it's great I love it um I love the low neckline I love the wide armholes I mean this is just a really fun piece very wacky very funky um so in the collection it came sticking along with sweater vests this is not thrifted this I did find on clearance at Marshall's uh this is by Willow and Wind it's a size small it was Originally $14.99 on clearance for $12, and then I think it was actually less than that, but they didn't have a sticker on it. Um, it is just this brown and beige, sort of more modern um, take on a sweater vest. I don't have a modern brown, so I picked this up because it was really cute. I liked the houndstooth print of it. I also don't really have a ton of printed vests like this, but I also thought this one would be cute on its own just because of the length of the actual shoulder portion. Usually I feel like they're a lot more slim. Um, so the fact that this one is so wide kind of would make it kind of cute on its own as well. It's like a leather pant or something like that. I really enjoyed the silhouette of this. I only bought two sweater vests, so I, th I thought, you know what? I got rid of a couple of them. I can, I, I have the space to introduce a couple of more, and this is good on its own as its own standalone top as well. So figured that was at least a little bit nice, right? This is by J.R. Knights by Caliendo. This is acetate and nylon combo made in the USA, and it is just one of those like half blazers with the mesh sleeve. I have a black one, I have a white one. This is a navy blue one I thought was really cute. Um, these get a lot of wear in my sort of nightlife. I really like the little clustered rhinestone buttons. I liked the silken collar and the sort of openness of it. There are little hook eye closures on the inside of it, but it is very much still like a cropped piece. I feel like this used to be worn with a very conserv conservative dress. Um, I don't wear it that way. I wear it with a mini skirt and a bralette, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> that is just how I like to style things. I like that the silken um collars also taken down to the sleeve cuffs i think that is just really chic it's very parisian in my opinion i don't know i'm probably talking out of my ass but i think it looks very good i love i just love a silk sleeve it shows off my tattoo really nicely these are always a win in my book this is one of the basics I was talking to you guys about earlier that I think I'm actually going to go ahead and replace one of my more modern blazers with because it doesn't fit quite as well as I would like it to and it kind of never has. Um, so this is by Jones New York. It's a size 8. It's made in Korea and it is a half blazer with only one button closure and it's at the very top so I would likely just wear this open. Don't really think this was intended for closed wear but this is one of those blazers that is just so cute. It's a cropped blazer which is gorgeous already I love that but then it's got this like really amazing just like it's so basic but it's so not you know what I mean it's not just a black blazer because it's got these panels of black silk sort of interlaced between like the regular just 
run-of-the-mill polyester black blazer and the pattern is repeated on the back which I think is always something a little more special about vintage pieces as opposed to modern day pieces where you would just see this be like a flat blazer with no dimension it's got some dimension extra details are added to it like it's gorgeous it's it's detailed but it's not too much you know what I mean so this is definitely a staple piece in my wardrobe so I think I'm going to try on the blazer that I want this to replace and sort of weigh them together and just see like does this one fit better does the other one fit better you know I don't think the other one fits better um and then maybe I'll sell it or give the other one to a friend because it is a really nice half cropped blazer but this one I think is nicer and I don't want to have duplicates so much in my closet anymore the last few items are some bottoms one of which is like super interesting so I just picked this up um it was $3.99 I still have the price tag on it this is a Terry Lewis Classic Luxuries, size 8, genuine leather suede, gorgeous. It's actually got elastic around the back of the waistband, which is really nice, but it's this soft pink color, and it's, it is quite long. I don't know if I'll leave it at this length, because the length isn't my favorite, but I do really like this ruffle at the bottom, so I'm not too sure um, what to do. I could seam rip or cut this hem off and move it up here and then just cut the rest off. I'm not sure. Maybe make a top out of the rest of the material. I'm not really sure what I'll do with it, but I do really like this um, color. So I was like, fuck it. I'll buy it. Whatever. It's $3.99. If I don't end up wearing it, I can give it to a friend who will. Um, a lot of my friends have similar styles to me um, or they can do something fun with it. I don't know. Or I can sell it um, online for cheap. Whatever. Not a big deal. Or redonate it. That's four dollars is not going to break my bank. So then I don't know if these are going to fit. These might be too big. They might be too small. They might fit just right. Goldilocks uh, has no idea. This These are by Alfred Dummer. Alfred Dummer? Alfred Dunner. They're a size 10. They are polyester and they are old lady pants with the elastic waistband. But I figure around the holidays, that's what you want. Um, they have pockets, nice deep ones too. Um, and they're just these regular old pleated old lady beige pants. I like that they are a straight leg and not a skinny leg or a wide leg. I like that. That's pretty unique. Um, in my collection, they are a entirely waistbanded. These are by Solos by Corette. These are a size 12. Um, they also have a sticker on the inside that says Ruth Hicks. I'm not sure who that is um, or why that's in here. Um, but these are a vintage, um, definitely like a newer vintage, more like a 90s, maybe 80s brand. Um, again, just a stretchy waist. These look like they'll fit perfectly. Um, they are a straight leg as well. These are a brown and white gingham, which... Um, kind of a big fan of brown, beige, and white colors. So these are, um, gonna do great in my collection. I'm gonna wear these all the time. Is debatably not gorgeous, especially if you like to tuck things in like I do. I don't know if I'll just belt it. Maybe I could add belt loops, um, in a similar fabric. Cause I know they sell similar fabric like Joann's. I could just add some belt loops to this real quick. Um, I don't really know. I really love tucking things in. And these are sort of like the perfect pants to tuck something in. Maybe I just have to not care about the waistline. Maybe. Do we... What, are, what is our collective opinion in our little community here on just wearing elastic waist pants? Because for me, it was always reading a little bit pajama. But like, I, these clearly aren't pajama pants. These are clearly trousers. Like, they're nice trousers. They're pleated. These are very clearly, in my opinion, not pajama pants. So like... What's our consensus on tucking things into pants like this that have just an elastic waistband and nothing else? Because I've heard people style around it where they're not tucking or they're like loosely tucking. So like the fabric still drapes over. But I don't know. Honestly, with the sweater too, it would be really cute. This is a vintage, um, not sure the brand, but I think it was in the last video of hauling that I did. I've been wearing it all the time because it's just a nice transitional sweater. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. Um, good for this time of year. But really loved these pants fell in love with them thought they would do great year round because they're a gingham print so they're very springy but they are a trouser so they're very fall i do just want to thank you guys for sticking around i know my video upload schedule has been not great this past year 
Um, I was definitely better at it last year, but last year I was going through so much and I'm kind of playing catch up with my emotions about last year and with everything that is just going on in my life. Um, uh, it's been good. It's been turning around a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll make a personal video um, soon about it, but so I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or week and I hope to see you next week with another video. Maybe a decluttering video. I don't know. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with that footage yet. But I hope you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!